Hello. I think we've all established by now that I'm a little bit of a hoarder. Um, this is my whole collection of pocket pins. I'm getting a bit of uh, supply overwhelm and I'm going to be purging things soon. So I thought I'd, you know, film this video so I'd have a memory of what I used to have and how crazy I was by having all of it. And uh, yeah, so I will just take you through it. This is my Sailor Progress Slim Mini in taupe. I really like this one. It's medium fine. It will not be going anywhere. I will be keeping it. It was my very first sailor. My very first gold nib, I think. I have two clear Moon Man Wonkai. Um, I really like these two. I, my friend Key gave me a pink one, so I do not need two clear ones. One of those will be going. So we'll just move those over there. Now, maybe I'll talk about these in a minute. Uh, I have a platinum, a vintage platinum pocket pin. I, I love this one so much that I thought, oh, well, I'll get one of these. It's extra fine. I don't need this. <laughs> I just don't need this is the situation. And it it's kind of a bit too fancy for me. So that one's going to be going. Uh, my Pilot E95S, I love this pin. It's a fine nib. It's not going anywhere. I'm keeping it. I'm counting this as a pocket pin because it's kind of Opus 88, one of Opus 88's kind of pockety offerings. This is the uh, Fantasia, and it's just really kind of 80s looking in Stranger Things. And set for some unknown reason, this pin just writes so well. I love it. And uh, it's not going anywhere. I have multiple nib sizes for this thing. So it can, you know, suit whatever mood, but I actually like the medium nib in this. So, which is strange for me. I'm usually fine or extra fine. I have two Traveler's Company pins. This one started out as a rollerball and I converted it to a fountain pen just by switching out the nib unit with a Schmidt nib unit a la instructions by Leanne Likes. Um, I love both of these. They're staying. One of them, and I have multiple nib sizes for these as well, just Schmidt FH241 nibs. Um, I even got one of them ground from a bra to an architect. So I, I really have multiple nib sizes. This is a D-like brass pin. It was kind of my first brass pin. It writes really well. I don't need it. <laughs> it's going. And uh, I have a Coveco problem. Now that I got this one, and I really, really like this one, more than I've liked any of the others, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to keep this one because I have, um, I got a gold tone nib ground from a double broad to a, an architect in the same session I got the architect from this. So I need to keep one of these gold tone ones and this is the one because I also like the fine nib in this one. So this one will get sold. This one will get sold and this one will get sold and this one will get sold. I like this one. This one was a uh, my first Kaveco, and it writes really nice. It's a fine nib. I'll keep that one. This one is a Cult Pins Jubilee version. And I, I would sell it because I'm not a collector, but I can't figure out how much to sell it for. So for now, I guess it stays until I figure out how much to sell it for. Because I think somebody who is a Kaveco collector who doesn't have it should have it, you know, more so than me. Because I'm not using it. So once I figure that out, I will probably sell that one too. Now, these two are pin BBS. I think they're called 471. They're pocket pins. They're uh, eyedropper. 
These are great little pins. Um, and I'm, I'm really struck. They don't do this colorway anymore. And I'm really struggling to sell these because this one has all the cool patterning. And this one has the like the little sad face. <laughs> which I just love this face. He just looks like a really pathetic monster. But also, they're transformer pins. So I'll show you what I mean. This ring. You kind of just take it off. And now I've got a pin on either side. So, yeah. I'm, I have a thing for gadgets. And so I really am struggling to decide to whether I'm going to sell one of these. I think I'll hang on to them a little bit longer. But, yeah. So when you are using it, the lid just gets screwed onto the back in this ring thing. And it's quite a decent size. So they still sell these, they just don't sell this resin. So those are still staying for now. So it looks like I'm, I'm not actually getting rid of that many. <laughs> I still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pocket pins. But I'll be getting rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a start. It's a start, guys. And then if anybody's been looking for this thing and knows what I should be selling it for, just hit me up. Um, but yeah, that's the, um, pocket pin situation as it stands right now. All right. Thanks. Bye.